Hi guys, so let's now take a look at Adam Smith's key theory, that is the division of labour and specialisation. Now Adam Smith first wrote about this in uh, 1776 in The Wealth of Nations uh, and this really was uh, a case in point to understand the way in which you could generate greater efficiency of output by splitting up a factory's assembly line into constituent parts, okay, and looking at those constituent parts and making sure that your workers became brilliantly good at each of those particular tasks involved in assembling that given product. Let's take a look. So specialisation is a form of division of labour whereby each individual and firm concentrates on a single or limited number of activities. Now, this is why you will have within a car uh, production facility, you would have a particular factory which actually builds the engine of a car. You would then have that engine being dispatched to another facility where it would then be put into the car body itself and that factory would specialise in the overall assembly of that car. So it means that you really do break down the tasks and you make sure that uh, your workers and your, your factories become brilliantly efficient in terms of producing that particular output. Now this means that you can generate greater efficiency, it means you can reduce your costs and increase output. Repetition improves skills, so your workers' skills within a given but very specific role are likely to improve quite significantly. Um, in addition to this, you'll also be uh, exploiting what's known as uh, economies of scale. That is where you increase output and reduce your average costs of production uh, and you will generate that higher output level. So you will generate greater productivity overall from utilising division of labour and specialisation. The disadvantages, however, are fairly significant. The, the tasks involved can be repetitive, they can be dull, and very monotonous in their approach. As such, it may be appropriate to use perhaps uh, job rotation where you actually rotate people along a uh, production or assembly time to alleviate some of that uh, repetitive nature of the task. Moreover, as a result of that repetition, motivation may fall and when workers become demotivated, that is what is known as a diseconomy of scale. And here output increases, but average cost begins to rise. And that is because workers are less motivated to work as hard. So there we go. That is Adam Smith's key principle of division of labor. Very important concept that we'll look at throughout the course in economics. It's nice and straightforward to understand. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.